Good morning, everybody. Kay actually got up at three o'clock in the morning because she's crazy like I am. And we are here in the Epcot parking lot. Although we do have to hop a bus over to Magic Kingdom because the half marathon is today and we're here to cheer on Peter Brookhart, Sarah, Megan, and Amy. And we need to get moving because we gotta get over to the start line. So this is gonna be a fantastic day. Follow along. Look at all the people. It is 4.01 a.m. And there's a lot of cars here. This is exciting. Yes, it is. No. All the, oh wow, they have a giant, the Dragon Master Foundation has a dra three-headed dragon. This is really cool. These are all the charity tents. So that's pretty cool. Oh, there's ACS. That's what um, Peter runs for. All right, first line of the day. We are in line waiting to hop on a bus to head over to Magic Kingdom to where the start line actually is. I mean, the good thing is there is a ton of buses ready to take us though. Step number two, we made it to the Magic Kingdom parking lot. Now we just gotta find everybody in all of these people. They have some fun little pre-race photo ops. They are blasting music. This is a party time. So they have several character meet and greets here before the start of the race. And they have some pretty long wait times right now. There's a DJ, they got a dance party going before it even starts. Get everybody warmed up and ready to go. All right, now Sarah is dressed like a certain bird you're gonna recognize. So we need to do a little snipe hunting to find her. Snipe. Here, Snipe. Come on out, Snipe. Snipe. We didn't bring any chocolate bars to lure her out. Oh. How dare you. This is really amazing how many people, there's gotta be over 10,000 people here. Cause I mean, I've walked past tons and tons and tons of people and everybody is in such a great mood. It is gorgeous out. It's gonna be a great day for a half marathon. I found Kevin! Good morning! All the wheelchair racers are heading over to the start line. So it's super loud, but the first Corral A is already lined up and ready to go. And then the rest of the corrals are lining up and getting ready. Woo! 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 Woo!
so Peter's already done a 5k at 24 minutes 43 seconds and my Sarah hasn't even crossed the start line yet Heading back to the event buses and the next corral just released. Right track, baby, I was born this way. All right, we're back at the Epcot parking lot and the sun's coming up and it's gonna be a beautiful day. Finish line straight ahead. Aww. Are they friends is the question. <laughs> so the two lead runners are at mile 11 and there is the finish line. So we didn't purchase the cheer squad tickets. So unfortunately this is kind of as close as we can get to after the finish line. So hopefully we'll hear them say Peter's name and then we'll see him walk past. But I won't get to see him cross the actual finish line. You did it! You had a killer time! Oh my gosh! Awesome! You alright? Good! Round B! Okay. Okay. So proud of you. So, Peter absolutely killed it. He was shooting for a two hour and he did it in one hour, 49 minutes and 17 seconds. We are so proud of him. Look at all that bling. Look at that. How can you even stand up straight with all that metal around your neck? <laughs> so we talk about how Peter runs with the American Cancer Society Team Determination. And this is who he runs for. Um, this is Sarah's dad who died of cancer. So he always runs in honor of Sarah's dad and that's why he works with the American Cancer Society because it's so close to them. your first half marathon second second okay but this one's a little more probably human ahead of the balloon ladies, so that's, that's all that matters say. I just want to give a quick huge huge congratulations to Peter for breaking his record that he set for himself and being under two hours and for Sarah and Megan and Amy for killing it and kicking this half marathon's butt I am so proud of all of you and can't wait for the next race all right guys, so that's gonna do it for us here at the Wine and Dine Half Marathon. That was so, so much fun. Watching everybody cross the finish line there at the end was actually like emotional. I'm so crazy. I was literally crying watching people cross the finish line. But if you like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye guys! 
kind of chaos with all the racers trying to get out and all the day guests trying to get in because it is 10 a.m. and the park just opened an hour ago.